In question number eight, we're told at time t seconds, the radius of a spherical balloon is r centimetres. The balloon is being inflated so that the rate of increase of its radius is inversely proportional to the square root of its radius. When t is equal to 5, r is equal to 9, and at this instant, the radius is increasing at 1.08 centimetres per second. In the first part of the question for seven marks, we need to write down a differential equation to model this situation and solve it to express r in terms of t. So we're looking now at dr dt. So dr dt, we're looking at the rate of change of the radius. We're told here that it's inversely proportional to the square root of its radius. So introducing k, where k is a constant, I can write that dr dt will be equal to k over root r. We've got the information here that when r is equal to 9, dr dt is equal to 1.08. I'm going to find the value of k, and then I'm going to go ahead and solve this differential equation. So what we can say then is 1.08 will be equal to k over the square root of 9, which is going to give me 3. So from this, we can see that k will be equal to 324 so I can write that in now. Therefore, what we're going to have is the following. dr dt will be equal to 3.24. And of course, you can use a fraction if you like. And then we're going to have this over the root of r. I'm going to separate the variables and integrate. This is a first order linear differential equation. So I can now say, and I'm going to write this as r to the half. We've got r to the half dr will be equal to 3.24 dt. So I'm going to integrate both sides. So we're integrating on the left-hand side with respect to r, and we're integrating on the right-hand side with respect to t. Raised by a power, divide by the new power. So this is going to become r to the 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2. So that's 2 thirds r to the 3 over 2 will be equal to 3.24 t plus a constant of integration. So what we want to do at this stage is find c. We've got enough information here. When t is equal to 5, r is equal to 9. So if we sub in r is equal to 9, we're going to have 2 thirds of now 9 to the power of 3 over 2. We square root and then cube, and that's going to give me 27. And that's going to be equal to now, what's that going to be? 5 lots of 3.24 is going to give me 16.2. Uh, and then we're going to have plus for C. So I've just subbed this in. Um, you can, of course, do this on a calculator. So this is going to give me now 18 minus for 16.2 is going to be equal to C. So we can see that C is going to be equal to 1.8. So let's put all of this back together. We can say now that 2 thirds R to the 3 over 2 will be equal to 3.24 t plus c which is going to be 1.8 um, so let's go ahead and just tidy this up slightly if you're working with fractions it'll be slightly neater so what's 3.24 divided by two thirds I suppose you can do that in your head if you're thinking straight on that one what's that going to give us 4.86 so we're going to have now r to the power of 3 over 2 is going to be 4.86 t and then we're going to have on here, that's going to give me 2.7. So plus, if we do that, that's going to be 2.7. So we get 2.7. So if you want to express those as fractions, you're more than welcome to do so. So we can say that R will be equal to 4.86t plus 2.7 to the power. Now, I'm going to raise both sides to the power of two thirds. So that will give me the answer. So that is my seven marks and lots of different ways around that. So if you wanted at this stage, you could express uh, 4.86 as a fraction, 243 over 50. So let's write this in. Uh, let's just put it here. So R is going to be 243 over 50 uh, T. And then what we got 2.7. So if we uh, do that as a fraction, 2.7 is going to give me 27 over 10. So plus now 27 over 10, which I can't simplify, and that's to the power of two thirds. 
Okay, now that part's done. So that's seven marks, so we've just expressed that. In the second part of two marks, it says how much air is in the balloon initially. So the volume of a sphere is uh, four-thirds pi r cubed. So if we think about this now, the volume is going to be four-thirds, and then we're going to have pi multiplied by r cubed. So initially, if we look at this, we're going to have that r is going to be equal to zero, because time is going to be naught, plus the 27 over 10, or the 2.7, to the power of two-thirds. So what we can do at this stage is say that the volume is going to be four-thirds, we're going to have pi. Now we're going to just simply cube the radius. So this is a radius. So we're going to have 2.7. And then if we cube this, this is going to give us that value squared. So let's go ahead and just square that. So if we square that uh, and then multiply this by 4 pi by 3. So let's do that, 4 pi by 3. And this will now give us the initial volume. Uh, so 243 over 25 pi. So 243, so 243 over 25 pi, um, so over 25 pi, and that'll be centimetres cubed. Um, that's the initial. Um, if you want now a, a decimal answer, let's have a look at that, 30.5 to three significant figures. So let's put that 30.5, that'll be centimetres cubed, given now to 3SF. So all we've done is separated, integrated, a first order linear differential equation, sub the values in and then answer the question later on based on what we've just found.